this is why 30 minute jobs turn into three hour jobs because even with all of the infinite wisdom that one may have one may not be able to prevent a broken screw What's up guys? Welcome to Mike Yourself. For today's video, um, we're going to throw a little modification onto the road glide. What we're going to add in is some um, locking latch uh, locking latch kit. The kit to add locking latch. I don't know how you want to word it. But essentially, the little black latches that hold your... Um, your, your passenger backrest or your luggage rack to the back side of your bike with the mounting hardware. We're gonna replace those latches, and I'll show you what that latch looks like, with an aftermarket locking latch. So let's take a look at what the original looks like. All right, so here's what the original looks like, and, and these are Harley branded um, latches here. And it, you know, these just kind of clip on to the hardware. Nothing scientific about that, right? Um, the only downside to them is it doesn't it doesn't lock your your hardware or at least it doesn't prevent anybody from taking your stuff okay and so you know why is that important um so here's what the latch looks like off on its own it's only important if you rely on this stuff um to you know maybe you want to attach something that's that's important to you so uh sometimes i i, I strap my helmet to it um, and you know, the reality is if somebody really wants something bad enough, they're going to take it. Right. But at the same time, I'm not going to make it easy for them. Right. So I'm going to give myself the opportunity to at least do that. So what I'm going to add in here are these locking latches that I got off of uh, Amazon and they're pretty straightforward. They're direct replacement. They work the exact same way. Now, one of the things that we need to pay attention to, and what's really cool is it came for it came with instructions, is the ins or this side of it here has like a cut or an indentation, and this side is flat. So I'm assuming this is the side that's got to go to the uh, the inside of this because it's gonna you know it's flat on flat, right? Makes sense. And then once you have it on your bike, you can push this little pin here and that locks it in and in order to unlock it then you just use a barrel key to unlock it now i ordered um two sets or two of them and it's kind of weird because they sent me like four keys um i thought maybe like each latch had its own set of keys but uh, i checked all four keys on one latch just to see if if two of them wouldn't work but they all worked <laughs> so either either these were all generic and anybody's barrel key will work. God help us if that's the case. Um, or they sell them, they were thoughtful enough and felt like they wanted to produce more keys and they sell them as a pair, but decided to give you four keys. So I don't know. However that is, that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. It'll be very straightforward. This should be very simple. All right, so looking at the instructions here, um, it's, you know, there's almost nothing here. I value the picture more than anything else. So it shows you to put two of the, um, I don't know what you, what kind of washers those are actually called. Um, they're like, wiggly a word? I don't even, like, can you use that as a word to, but if you notice, they're not flat washers. They've got like a, uh, a bend to them. And maybe this is just another type of locking washer and, and, and I'm just not smart enough to know that um, but so it tells you to put two of those in before you put a solid flat washer and then on the outside and you actually can see that indentation there that i was talking about earlier they want you to do a smaller ring washer with another flat washer and then your screw so i'll get that Post it up here. Let's actually, we could just do that. I can do that with one hand. I'm talented. I can do this single handedly. Maybe that's something I can put on my resume in the future. Single handedly installed 
a locking latch. All right, so I've got the two squiggly ones, locking washers, the flat washer. Now comes the, uh, the actual latch. So I want to make sure I put this on right. So I'm going to use this other one as reference, right? Okay, so it's going to be like that. And right up front, I've got the, well, I've got the original latch here in my hand. Let me put that down. See, see what happens when you start playing with stuff? You start grabbing the wrong thing to install. Okay, so there is obviously a left and right to this. And as I look, this indentation is here. So it would have to be spun around. And that means I've got the wrong one. So let me get the other the other latch out of the bag here. Because I need, I need that indentation on the outside, right? All right. So that goes onto there. Now the next ones are pretty simple. The little smaller little like a ring washer. I don't know how you, what you want to call that. Um, and then a flat washer with the screw. Now, what's interesting here is they give you two different smaller flat washers. So they gave me this one and they gave me that one. I don't know why. These two there, there. It's a lot of washers. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to go with, uh, with this guy and the small ring. So let's, let's throw. So just like that shows, we're going to throw on these two here. And then uh, screw that on. So that's kind of it, right? Pretty straightforward, simple. So let me tighten this down a little bit and we'll, um, we'll throw it on the bike so we can see what it looks like on the bike. So now I've got to figure out how to get that screw out, which would be done with an easy out, but my easy out kit sucks. And um, yeah, so that sucks. <laughs> the good news is it's the luggage rack. It's not my backrest. So we're going to do the back racks, back rest. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I swapped out the screw and I went in on it too quick. Um, which quickly told me it was starting to bind. So when I tried to loosen it, it was jammed. So, um, that's on me. I made, a, I made an error there. And now I've got to figure out how to get that screw out. Option B is to, I think you could probably knock this thing out. It's just like a, yeah, I could probably knock it out and use a bolt or whatever to replace it. Um, but yeah, damn it. <laughs> That's the worst of it. All right, so if you have a backrest with mounting hardware like I do, then you kind of already know this routine. You just put it on there and you latch it in exactly the same way as you would your stock latches. Um, the only difference is once we get it in, we're gonna push that pin uh, into place. So let me go ahead and do this real quick, throw it harder with one hand. Okay, so we got that one locked in. Now this is the stock, so there's no, all I have to do is lift up on that. Um, here is the aftermarket. And that one locks into place. And once it's in, oh, it's not all the way seated here. Okay, so once you hear the click, then you're able to push your little locking me mechanism down. And at this point, this lock that's here, it won't go nowhere. So your seat's not going anywhere. And to take it off, it's not a hassle at all. You just use your barrel keys that were provided. 
put that in your lock and you can see your pin is out which is telling you this is now unlocked so I could pull it out if I want to so pretty cool very easy thing to do and again it just gives you an opportunity like if you want to strap anything or lock anything to your your bar here you can just for an added layer of security depending on where you are you may not need it at all um, if you're in the city then you know what there's a lot of sticky fingers around and again if they want it bad enough they're going to get it but let's not make it easy for them so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up if you enjoy my content become a subscriber and uh, if you don't want to miss out on that next video uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get the buzz to let you know it's posted until the next one i hope to see you in the wind